Nah, just messing with you. Hi, everybody. It's Monday. It's a new week. And it's one of those weeks, well, we kicked it off to a great start, where I wear a badge on my hip to get in. I have a badge holder that I faithfully clip on this pocket right here, except I did not. So you have to stand outside the front door and kind of look like this until someone takes pity on you and violates the rules by letting you in without your badge. And then you sit at your desk all day, afraid to go anywhere because you can't badge in or badge out. Which is great until you have to pee. Then you have to try to synchronize your pee schedule with someone else in the office. Which actually is not that hard because someone's always peeing in this office, I'm pretty sure. Not that I'm checking, but it always seems like when I'm peeing, I'm not alone. Aren't you glad you learned that about me today? So it is Monday though, 6.03 p.m., 89 degrees, ugh. It's going to be humid all week and be awful. And uh, there are 95 days until opening day at the Target Center. I was looking over that schedule. They still haven't really done uh, preseason yet. So I don't know. Or have they? Since I have it open. October. Nope, October's free. There should be two... I want to say two games at the Target Center for preseason games. I don't know. I also know that I have a big balloon payment on my season tickets that's due Wednesday, August 1st. I should pay that probably. Hmm. Kim will probably start getting more calls from our season ticket rep just because they want to know where the money is. But they like to give us chances for free stuff and meet and greets and stuff like that. So we got good season ticket reps that take care of us. It's almost worth the staggering amounts of money we pay to go watch basketball. Although, i got to say, this is the year. If uh, the previous weekend's been any indication, I'm sure you saw Kevin Love and the Team USA defeat France. The bonus was the guy the Timberwolves were trying so hard to get from the Blazers, Nicholas Batum, kind of wasn't very exciting for France. So it was one of those things where it's like kind of lucked into making the right choice there, didn't you, old Dave Kahn? The guy we got instead of Batum, Mr. Karelenko, was dynamite for Russia. Very good. And he has the rapport with Alexei Shved, another guy the Timberwolves got. So between Shved and AK, man, things are looking up. Put Rubio with those two. Can you even believe it? Kevin Love? Nikola Pekovic? It's not lost on me that those are all white guys, by the way. It's not lost on me because people keep bringing it up. We're so, it's good to see we're so post-racial because everyone is making a really big deal out of all the whiteness on the Timberwolves. And... What can I say? I, I don't think it's as big a deal as everybody else did, but because I occasionally tweet about the Timberwolves and talk about them now, but mostly because of the tweeting, it seems like I'm really becoming a magnet for these Timberwolves parody accounts that, well, they follow me, and then a couple days later they unfollow me because they figure out I'm not going to follow them back. I, I've never understood that. It's like, Oh, you followed me, now automatically I must follow you back? Nah. I follow too many people already. I follow 367 people. That's without following back parody accounts called White Starting Five or not David Kahn. Do I really need to see a David Kahn parody account? If David Kahn were on Twitter, what he would tweet would probably look exactly like the parody account. So it's not really parody when you end up doing a dead-on impression. I like David Kahn. I wish nothing for the best for him because he represents my team, but 
A lot of these really smart moves, you kind of wonder if it's like the unseen hand of Rick Adelman, the great Rick Adelman, kind of guiding him into making these moves. And then the other thing, again, it's dumb luck that the Blazers were just so intent on sticking it to the Wolves by matching their offer on Batum. And now they got Batum, who, brave face or not, is probably not terribly happy about sticking around. We'll see what his year's like, but getting Kirilenko instead? I'm excited about it. I think Kim can be one over. I really do. First of all, she's going to love Shved. She happened to not watch the Russia game, but I, I, I don't know what she's got against Kirilenko other than he was on the Jazz and he was kind of a uh, Drago looking, but he's not nearly as Drago looking now, or at least he wasn't uh, over the weekend. I did watch a lot of Olympics over the weekend. That's kind of fun to just sit there and veg out. And I think I watched like 15 different sports over the course of the weekend, despite the fact that our network choices, our USA broadcasts are just not so great. I haven't watched any of the streaming, though. And it's probably only decent to watch at work anyway, and I'm not going to watch it during work because I'm working during work. Believe it or not, I am. So when you only get 15 minutes of weightlifting, maybe that's all you need. I don't know. But it was something watching them women lift all that weight. I'm boring myself even. Well, we got three hours of raw tonight. In fact, it's in under an hour, so it's just as well that I'll have to just get out of here because I won't be able to badge back in anyway. But three hours of raw and my wife working late, so I should be quite animated and flirting with Twitter jail and really annoying the people who don't like the wrestling tweets. The people who do like the wrestling tweets probably wish I hadn't spent six minutes talking about basketball just then. I have a diverse set of people who are marginally interested in what I have to say. Actually, it's probably not even that many people. Let's ask YouTube. YouTube, how many people actually watched these things last week? I know I'm not supposed to focus on numbers. This is kind of a project to just see if I can extemporaneously speak without doing a lot of uh and ah, or giant pauses or dead air. Like this. And really, it doesn't matter if it's 30 people looking at this or 15. They're both pretty close to flatline, right? Oh, so slow. Tell me, video manager, how did I do last week? Those of you at home can start placing your bets now. Monday, 33. What? Really? Why? Hmm. Perhaps I've underestimated my appeal. Tuesday 26, Wednesday 19, Thursday 20, Friday 15. But I got one thumbs up every day except the day when 33 people watched it. What does it mean? Nothing. Thanks for the thumbs up though. I didn't even think about looking for that. Let's see, 33 people. I'm really flirting with disaster, by the way, by trying to look at YouTube pages while I'm taping something. Ah, yes, it's because I hyped up Raw 1000, so I probably got a big boost for that. So if I mention wrestling in the tweet, we get like two more people interested. Let's see what the stats say. Oh, the stats don't even tell me how old the people are who are watching. Usually I get that United States and Canada, but no analytics. Usually what I learn is that you're all a bunch of old people watching, which makes sense because you got nothing better to do. Alright, I apologize for the last uh, three or four minutes of boredom. Uh, if you'd like to guide my discussion, please uh, leave a message at the uh, sound of the beep, and <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody!